guys um many people are beginning to ask this question even in the north that is the core north is kwan koso working for peter obi you know kwan koso is um the presidential candidate of the new nigerian people's party that is nnpp and he has been doing a very massive mobilization in the north you know he's a, he's a grassroots politician he was one time governor of Kano state i was privileged to serve in Kano, so i know the kind of following the man commands he commands a very huge following in Kano. they call themselves the concosia movement the red car boards so people are beginning to ask the question is uh so working for peter Obi? because you know that uh People with all their, their permutations and, you know, thinking that, okay, <clears throat> with the kind of following that this man has in the north, is going to spoil votes for both. That their block votes, their so-called block votes, is to always boast about. It's going to be spoiled this time. Yes, Kwanko, so we take his share, which is a very large share. I even see him winning Kano, which is a good thing. I love it. He will take his share, Atiku will take his, Tinubu will take his, and Obi will take his, yes. In case you have been taking that, Obi will not get uh, some votes in the in the corner, it's a lie. He will have some vote to himself, because we still have sane and reasonable Nigerians in the north. Who doesn't think the way of religion and fanatism? So people are beginning to wonder, with what this man is doing, with what he did yesterday in... Just one local government. Are you sure this guy is not paving way for Peter Obi? That's the question on everybody's lips. Let me leave you to some of the videos. Watch them and we'll come back and talk more about it. If he's really paving a way for Peter Obi or not. <laughs> Guys, that was Konkosu in Chairauni local government. Coincidentally, that was the local government where I, I lived. I lived in Tarawani. That location it is. I know the spot very well. I lived in Tarawani when I was serving in Kano. So, I understand what Konkosu is doing. And to a very large extent, I can say this without any iota of doubt that Konkosu is winning Kano. Yes, because of the love they have for him. They have serious natural love for the man. He worked when he was in Kano, no doubt. He worked especially for the poor. He's a man that, you know, always have the poor in heart. So, you can see his outing. Look at, you know, the reception, the love and everything from his Kano supporters. That's just one local government, the only local government. And this one is the local government that's even in the city. It's one of the local governments that makes up the city because I know that um, it's eight local governments in Kano that makes up the city and Tarawani is one of them. So you can see the massive love they are showing to this man. I, as a Peter Obi supporter, I, I love it. I love it. I, I love it because it will go a long way, you know, to dismantle that so-called blocked northern vote that they always brag about. It won't be like 219 where most of the votes were given to one person, which was Buhari. This time around, 
it will be pissed and everybody will pick his share. Yes, even though Pio don't pick a large, a very large chunk, he will still have his own share of votes from northern Nigeria, from the corn north. And I'm even happier because Kano is one of you know the states with the highest uh, voter registration. They have about 5.9 million. I think second just to Lagos, who have seven million. Uh, so one things to be divided there <clears throat> massively. I'm a lover of Congo, so don't get me right. But for justice, equity, and fairness, Peter Obi should do. Yes. And for track record sake, Peter Obi has the best track record among all the candidates that are contesting. But I'm, I'm someone that won't talk down on Konkoso because Konkoso too have, uh, you know, this mind, this heart for the masses, especially the poor. Yes. That is one thing I know about him. If I don't know any other thing, I know this one for sure about him. So, people are wondering with what this man is doing. No wonder. It's, uh, we had rumors today that Atiko have been sending people to go and beg him to step down for him. But the man have refused. He said everybody should go to the pool and test their popularity. So, kudos to Konko. So, we are happy with what you're doing. Don't step down. Everybody should go and test his popularity. Yes. And in the end, let God crown the better man. Winner. I haven't said that. Peter will be for president. Get your PVCs ready for 25th of February where we'll cast our vote for Obi.